Hi everybody and welcome to SimplyScuba.com. Today we're looking at dive computers and more specifically their screens. Display technology has come a very long way in the past decade or so and we've come from segments and really low power stuff to pretty advanced color screens. So let's take a look at the market, what's available today and what their pros and cons are. Seven segment displays are one of the most common display types for cheaper dive computers. It's the digital clock style display. You have seven rectangles in the shape of a square, usually a, a square number eight, obviously, for the maximum efficiency, but usually LCD segments. Um, these require very little power, so their batteries tend to last quite a long time. Their downside is in their inflexibility. They have to have predefined shapes that either illuminate or don't. So conveying complicated information is kind of tricky. They can't spell out complete words or shapes or change the information size neither. And when I say illuminate, you often can't read these in the dark without a torch or some kind of backlight activated. Most will have a backlight, but Every time that you use it, it saps the battery power very, very fast. So try not to use it too often. If you're after a basic dive computer with a battery that lasts a really long time, then segment displays are a great choice. Something like the Aqualung i300C, a lovely budget-friendly dive computer, and the battery lasts a really long time. But do make sure that you read the manual first because there will be a time when it shows a certain symbol or a three-letter acronym that you need to know what it means to work out what it's trying to tell you. Dot Matrix is an upgrade on this, using the same technology as segment displays, only with lots of little square segments. Instead of just seven bars, Dot Matrix will have a grid of a few hundred little squares that can each turn on and off like pixels so that the computer can display more complicated information and smaller information as well, while still having a low power consumption. Same downsides to the segment displays. If you do a lot of night diving or low light, you'll use up power pretty quickly using the backlight. But for sunny dives, they're great. Uh, if you look at the Suunto Zoop Novo or the Viper Novo, you'll see segment displays at the top and the bottom, but all throughout that central section, it's all dot matrix. Now we move on to the color screens. Color screens are relatively new on the dive computer scene, but they're definitely here to stay. A full color display can display any information, large or small, with a much higher resolution and in color as well, so it's much more intuitive. When information turns yellow and red, you know to pay attention to that in particular. It really draws your eyes. The downside is that the backlight is basically always on so they use more power than segment displays and it's only been since the improvement of lithium ion and rechargeable batteries that color screens have really been practical on the diving scene. Rechargeable batteries do have the benefit though in that you can just top them up at any time. When the battery starts to run a little bit low you just plug it in and top it up. Segment displays when the battery runs low, you just take the old battery out and put a new one in so you're losing any residual charge in that old battery. They're all fairly similar with a few different layers when you get to color screens. You get often three different layers. Uh, one at the bottom that acts as a backlight which shines light upwards and then two layers that usually sandwich liquid crystal, uh, sort of color filters and other clever stuff. This is where it gets really complicated when you're looking at color screens because a lot of the different screens use similar or actually the same technology. So you'll have a, a TFT screen. That sounds really fancy, but basically all LCD screens have a TFT layer. Um, and you can also have TFT LCDs with an LED as a backlight. And of course they include the LED part of that in the description because if you use TFT, most people don't really know what that means. If you, they use LCD, they think it's old technology. But LCDs, yeah, they're all typically TFT now. So you can actually find an LCD TFT LED screen. And even if you do know what all of those different three letter acronyms actually are, working out exactly what you can have can be tricky because the manufacturer is only gonna mention the best buzz terms. So TFT, is a thin film transistor. It's basically the bottom layer 
so it has a transistor for every single pixel instead of just lighting it from the side. But they allow for a richer range of colors and hues with very detailed pixels and has a very strong brightness to energy consumption rate. A lot of this stuff, it's you see the information based on like TVs and stuff. A lot of those stats and like the, the the precision and the clarity doesn't matter too much on a dive computer but you will notice it when you see a really clear dive computer against something that's a bit more mediocre again on tfts the the whole background it emits light the entire thing instead of side lighting and then a layer in the middle stops light from getting up through so blacks will be brighter because it can't block all of the light on computers like the Aqualung i770R, you get a good bright screen and a reasonable battery life. So it's very easy to uh, sort of see. Um, but when you're night diving, you can see they, the, the blacks are still glowing. LEDs or light emitting diodes give a better picture quality and contrast. Again, very clear and crisp information, but you get the truly deep blacks because those LEDs that are underneath the, the black sub part of the screen, they're not on, so they're not producing any light, so they're saving energy there. So you get very, very dark, deep blacks and then very vivid colors right next to it in the next pixel. Shearwater computers, they tend to use LEDs for like the Terek and the Perdix. The Terek though has AMO LEDs, which is an active matrix organic light emitting diode which basically cuts out one layer and it uses organic materials as well. So it's used a lot in modern phones and TVs and screens. It, they can print it very thin and light. They consume very little power compared to traditional LEDs. And you'll often see in new technology, they, they boast about OLED displays. That organic part, it can be printed much, much thinner and lighter uh, and it is more efficient in the long run. They also have the benefit of a wider viewing angle. So on some other dive computers, if you glance at it, it it's kind of shiny silver, so you can't really read it. With these OLEDs, you don't have to look straight at the screen to actually read it. As with TVs and other devices, dive computers are getting better and better and the batteries are keeping up with it. Most of the best dive computers nowadays, they all have color screens of some kind, but because of the power requirements, they have rechargeable or biggish batteries that you need to change fairly often. Like in the Perdix, you have a AA battery that you can just pop out and put a new one in. But the diving experience is much better, in my opinion, obviously. Older segment displays, they are perfectly fine, as long as you read the manual and look at all of the information for any potential issues that you might come across during a dive. But they are perfectly good for any level of diver. It's not just beginners should start off with segment displays and then as they become better divers, they progress up to the color screen. That's not really the case. If anything, the color coding on something like a Shearwater Peregrine is perfect for entry level divers because as stuff starts to change color, it draws your eyes to what you need to pay attention to. But if you are on a budget, uh, the Aqualung i300C is a fantastic choice. It's a very budget dive computer and battery savvy as well. If you are in the market for a new dive computer, check out simplyscuba.com. We carry a whole range of different dive computers for all sorts of different divers, from compact little watch size dive computers to big screens and even heads up displays with a Shearwater Nerd. Personally, I like a color screen. They're very intuitive and they draw attention to the information that you need to pay attention to. And you can also customize their color coding in a lot of cases to personalize your computer to your own personal style or needs. Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, what do you prefer in a dive computer? Do you like a low power segment display where a small button battery will last for a few seasons or a fancy color screen? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching everybody. And of course, safe diving. Oh,